Hello YouTube, my name is Puck and this is my brother Willie. How, how are you doing? Do? Yeah, how are you doing? So, um, yeah, today we are here with his computer. He has a Windows 8 computer, it's a Sony Vio. These kinds of computers are very beautiful. I really love them. He got it new because, I don't know if you remember, I made a video about this computer already. It's the Sony Vio, the SVE 1612H6EW. Real long number, here you can read it. See that? And it comes with Windows 8. But yeah, my brother is, yeah, just like me, a Windows 7 freak. We're not like really Windows 8. Yeah. We're creating music, right? You're used to True. make music and things like that. And when his daughter gave him this, this beautiful laptop for Father's Day, he was really happy. Mm -hmm. But he was like, hey, this Windows 8, you know, man, I can't really work with it. And he's doing lots of... Uh, uh, technical things with audio reason uh, BF. BFD. okay but uh, yeah we're, we're here and uh, here we are with this laptop and the question is that Willie asked me it was like yo um, I did the install of Windows 7 before you know and I know how to install Windows 7 you know and uh, but I can't seem to get into the bias of this thing you know I can't seem to get into the bias. And the bias is, of course, the most important thing to get into a machine. So how to do that with machines like this? Because I already created a bootable USB stick. And in fact, I, I want to change the bias to legacy. So how to do it? Well, take a good look here at your Sony file. And if you take a good look here, you will see a button that says assist. Okay, just hit that one and see what's gonna happen just hold it and here you can see the languages so we're just gonna go for English so you all can like see what's happening what's crackalacking okay so you also have a mouse support so we're just gonna hit enter and uh, up here we see recover or man maintain your system you can recover your computer if the system has become unstable well that's not what we want to do start from media usb uh, device optical disc f11 that's in fact what we want uh, but first uh, we want to go to the uh, bias setup so let's go into the bias and here we are in the beloved bias and we're gonna take a look here and we say advanced security and here uh, secure boot enabled um good and the boot mode is legacy um and the boot priority we're gonna set to uh, internal external device or internal optical disk drive we could also do that because um I also have the DVD so let's put it in an old-fashioned way up and to do that you change the values with F5 and F6 okay but the problem is are there drivers for this machine well I'm not even sure so if I fail you know I will have to you know fix that again with in another way because drivers are the most important thing eh? and uh we're just gonna try it we're gonna say boot up from uh yeah optical disk drive and then we're gonna say uh save changes we open this drive and we get our beloved windows 7 cd we pop it in and then we say save changes yes and now it will just boot up from And then um, exit setup. Boom. Uh, save configuration. Yes, please. Save it. And let's boot up from CD and you know, let's install Windows 7 on this thing. There we go. You hear that, baby? So, Windows is loading files. So, we're in fact already installing now. And the rest of the install procedure will go um, kind of the same. But now I'm just wondering if Windows 
created a GPT partition so that we're gonna see in the next steps that will come because in fact I never checked if we had drivers for this thing so the first thing that you must do you must go to the Sony website and see if they have Windows 7 drivers available in fact this should be Windows 7 drivers for the machine because you know Sony is yeah you know these people they always uh, yeah want to keep the customer happy so um can we go for english yes. is that okay yeah yeah i could i could also get the language back later for you if you want but i think i have only english on here and now we're gonna hit install And this is really fantastic because, you know, uh, many people don't know how to get into the bias of these kinds of machines. Uh, we're going to put the home basic or the home premium, but then 64-bit. Um, uh, so that's what we're going to install. So we go, we hit next because we have a license for that. Next. And now we're going to say custom. And here you can see many, many stuff. Here you can see Um Reserves, Windows Tools, Sony, uh, um, whatever. Here you can see another partition. Here you can see, I think, here 4.2 is also reserved. This is this is the partition. In fact, 440 35 gigabytes. So in fact, what we should now do. You will lose your Windows 8 license. Do you care? No, no, I don't care at all. And you will lose the possibility to fix the machine from out Windows. We can only fix it with the drive. But, you know, uh, because... Um, what kind of partition is this? If I just say, Windows, it, it says Windows cannot be installed on that drive. You see that? Mm-hmm. And in fact, Windows cannot be installed on none of these drives. You see? So what I'm going to do, the only thing that we can do is hit drive options and delete everything. That means you're also going to lose your files. Are there stuff on there that you want to keep? Well... Just you, like we spoke and okay, let's level, level No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. We're going to stop the video. I, I really got to talk to my brother now. Does you wait to say that, you know, you, you are sure? I'm sure. You can clean it up, man. We can clean it up. Okay, so up. what we've decided, we, we decided that we're going <laughs> to clean the whole machine. We're going to delete all the petitions. So let's take a look how to do that. Okay, up here you can see that um, if you if you hit extra or what was it ever here you could hit something then you can also select these drives go to the bottom one hit delete okay boom it will delete delete don't forget we're also deleting at this moment we're also deleting um in fact we're deleting everything now from this machine all the partitions so he's also losing his Windows 8, but yeah, he's not going to use it anyhow. So, and soon Windows 10 will be free. So, yeah, we don't really bother about Windows. So up here, you can see that we have one drive of 500 gigabytes. It's in fact 465.8. And would you like to have an extra drive that you have two yeah, partitions? Yeah, yeah, make two partitions. Okay, so we're going to make one partition extra and we're going to make it. 200 oops 200 and then thousand you see that 200,000 so apply okay it's gonna create another drive from 100 megabytes as well for Windows 7 to make it you know work correctly so there you go and then uh, we have the primary of 200 gigabytes then you have uh, 
uh, extra disk of 700 and 270 uh, gigabyte mm -hmm. and one from almost 200 gigabytes for C and for you know yeah. whatever okay. okay so now we're just gonna hit next and the installation will go the way we know uh, already so no need to keep the cam on um, and it's installed as you can see my friends but um, of course there will be several things not installed let me see how right mouse click here Let's go to, um, oh, of course, this is premium. We go to my computer, right mouse click, and then properties, and then device manager. And up here we can see that Ethernet, network, PCI device, PCI simple communication device, USB, serial, bus controller, not, 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 all not installed. The display driver is the standard VGA. So, but what did we see here? I found some drivers here. So this uh, this is the support uh, side of um, of 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 Sony for this for this machine. Here you can see it. Notebook, the SVE. 1512H6E. So these are the drivers for this machine. Yeah. By the way, the Netherlands, uh, it was not uh, possible to get them in the Netherlands anymore because uh, Sony, the Netherlands just stopped, they quit. So um, this is an Intel machine, as you can see, Core TM, that's Intel. So uh, we're gonna download this driver. It's 158 megabytes. So we have read. 64 bytes. We must really read and then download. So this is the video driver. We also need um, the chipset driver for Intel. So we're also going to get that one. Otherwise we will not get certain parts to work in this laptop. We go back. Um, this is software for the Ethernet. We take the Ethernet Realtek driver and so on, you know. So I'm gonna do this, and um, yeah, when I'm done, don't forget here at the bottom you can click show more. Here, um, here, show all downloads. And up there you will find the other drivers. Um, this is chipset Intel. This is for Bluetooth, it's for the Atiras. So let's also get that one. Because that also works again with another part of the machine. So if you don't get that, that, that driver, then something else will not work as well. So um, yeah, we also need a Wi-Fi driver. I did not see that one yet. SATA driver, pointing dri wireless driver, there it is. The wireless driver, 16 megabytes. That is the uh, wireless driver. Papa, we agree and we are fully guilty of downloading this driver because we want to go back to Windows 7. Holy Windows 7, huh? unbelievable. Show all downloads here. And uh, what do we see? Simple communication device, SM bus controller, USB. I think these are all in. Um, these are all in. In the chipset driver, I think. I'm not even sure. So I'm gonna start installing some of these drivers, and then you know. If I get stuck somewhere, because I'm gonna, I think if I install the chipset, many of these, um, how you call them, exclamation marks will just be gone. So that's what I'm gonna do. I also see an unknown device here. I have no idea what it is. So we will have to, you know, install at least. Some of these drivers here, USB 3, we also need that one. As you could see, USB, 
a serial bus so we need to also install that so in fact you know um, I advise you to download all the Windows 7 drivers for your machine if they are supported most of them are supported so just download them and you know when you're done downloading them you can go ahead and install them of course after suffering and installing etc I managed to install all the drivers as you can see no more on no one exclamation marks or whatsoever so this is how to you know fix the Sony file and uh, of course any other laptop this is how to downgrade to Windows 7 you know uh, you need the drivers if you don't have the drivers your Windows 7 won't have no sound your video will look like crap so you know all these things you need to fix but when you fix them you will have a great working Windows 7 machine before doing this go to the Sony website and see if uh, these drivers are available for your particular laptop. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and till my next video. Peace out. Bye bye.